Good morning. I'm Rinda. I'm Jim. And we're Hardiness Approach. Yes, we are. And we're in the greenhouse because there is no wind in this greenhouse. And we are coming to you to say Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. <laughs> what you looking at? Did we just switch places? <laughs> Okay, so this has been a really great year for us. A it's great... had its challenges. Ah! Okay, so whatever. Um, anyhow. It's had its, you know, there's a balance to everything. You've got the good and you've got the bad, and that's really. Well, I'm gonna start off with a little story. When we lived in New York, we would ride the train into New York City every day from White Plains to New York. And when we got to Harlem, to the station that was there, we were about 30 or 40 feet, maybe even 50, <laughs> above the city. Cause they kept us way up there high, so we weren't in any danger. That's not why they did it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it helped me feel better. <laughs> anyway, as we were working so much, I found myself getting very depressed. And one day I was looking out the train window and there looking down at Harlem was this mother holding the hands of her like three or four year old son walking across the street. And they were talking and I thought, oh my goodness, there she lives in that slum, horrible area, dangerous area, and she is loving her son and wanting the best for his life just like I want for my sons. And that's when I changed my whole mindset and started thinking of finding joy. I wrote, we did little cards that had inserts that said find joy and we found all different ways to find joy. Find joy in a crocus lifting its head above the snow. Find joy in listening to Vivaldi. And we just went through life finding joy. And that's what we wanna leave as a message today is that you find joy, not just fun, wherever you go. And find joy and gratitude. And it makes your life better no matter what. Because people always comment about how ump we are. Yes. I think that's one of the reasons we're so ump. Right. And you're, as you, you're in a hole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> as you've watched some of our videos, you know that we've had some challenges. You know, nothing that's taken us down, but we have found joy in that process, solving the problems. We know that there are p many people who have had bigger, Much harder, bigger. longer challenges, th challenges than us. We get it, and in some situations it's harder to find the joy, but what we are saying, no matter what, you have to find the joy, find the good, build on that. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, we have put out a video I mean, a series called 12 Weeks to Hardiness, where we teach people how to eat, live, exercise, do all of those things. And we, Be healthy. And we Hardy. Did, <laughs> and we did a uh, little eight-day series where we did eight days to hardiness. We had talked about putting out a video where we were doing eight weeks to hardiness, and we are going to do something different. We are doing 52 weeks to hardiness. Seems like we could repeat that every so often. Yeah. <laughs> but what you're going to do is if you want to follow us starting next week, every Monday on how to get healthy, but it's not going to be just, you know, how to get healthy. It's living your life, eating, exercising, doing, following us. We are going to managing your stress. We're going to get right back on that wagon and do everything perfectly and never fall off again. How about if we not, <laughs> we haven't fallen off the wagon. No, no we no, haven't. No. We just want to push the wagon a little further down the road is right. what we want to do. We want to be strong and healthy and anybody that wants to do it can do it with us. Now, if you are a um, member, is it member? If you, if you subscribe if you purchase, to 12, if you purchase, if you purchase 12, 12 weeks to hardiness, then you'll be able to know all the scientific things behind the stuff that we're doing. We will be emailing all of our clients on the 12 Weeks to Hardiness every week with different ideas and things to do. Um, we're just 
going to live right and we're going to share it but we're only doing it one time a week it'll come out on monday and on that note when we started with youtube we were posting youtube videos every day and we did that for two years yeah <laughs> it's a huge undertaking and there there's some good and some bad to it like everything else but it's a challenge it's hard and with what we're doing right now with our focus on interacting and doing things with our family and some of the other daily weekly monthly needs that that are there for us doing a video every day is out of reach for us it's just not going to happen doing a video every week is going to be a stretch but it is something we're we, going to do we gain so much from doing them that for us, it's like it's like eating and breathing and exercising. We've got to have it. And so we, we do want to do these videos. It helps us a lot. And the feedback we get from our friends who are telling us, wow, this is helping me. This is just what I needed to hear. It's extremely gratifying. So, yes, uh, we're cutting back. Well, we, No, we're not. We're actually expanding from what we've been <laughs> doing lately doing <laughs> to one, one, uh, one video a week. But it is a cutback from what we were doing before and from what a lot of people attempt to do. But one a week can fit for us, can allow us to have good quality information and fun videos, and it'll be great. Now, one of the things that I am pursuing, I don't know if you know that my husband has been in college for the last semester. He just finished two weeks ago and he is in college and it's all online after years of getting <laughs> credits from colleges wherever <laughs> we might have been living when we, i was in the military and after uh, i've got enough to have a degree but they're not they're from different places and different things so they don't all fit together so i've decided to pull it all together and turn it into a real degree so that uh, i can be an example to my grandkids yep so he's been doing that. He's already got a semester under his belt. I am starting back into my master's that I started four years ago. And I did three classes and then I had to drop out because we were managing the independent living and it just wasn't working. We became the managers instead of just the assistants. And um, I will be sharing information that I am learning because I am getting the uh, holistic nutrition um, Master of Science in Holistic Nutrition and I will be sharing those things and information with you as during the 52 weeks yes so that, so. That, well, I'm so excited so excited to go back to do that um, one additional little bit of housekeeping is many 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 of you have become my friend on my personal Facebook and I love it However, I'm going to change my Facebook a little bit to go back to being just my family and intimate friends that I've known for a long many years and have all of you that I know from YouTube go over and join Hardiness Approach page. Uh, some of you already have. So it's follow, I think is the word. Follow? Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like, follow. I don't know. Whatever you can still you make on, comments. Whatever you do on Facebook with pages, <laughs> that's what we're going to... We're going to put the link up up here yeah. and in the show notes. So right. We've got that. So you'll be able to go over there and get on. So I'm going to be kind of taking my Facebook down so it's just my family. For, for those of you who are Facebook opposed, uh, sorry it's a place for us to do it we're also going to be using instagram, instagram. so you, you can subscribe to that if you prefer that if you don't want anything to do with social media okay we understand. sorry <laughs> you know I, I get it i get it but for us it's a communication platform and we're not going to get carried away with doing crazy stuff and spend no. hours of our lives on it but we're going to use it to communicate so i'm hoping that once a week i pr we we put stuff out there uh, we'll be putting our newsletter out every two weeks. Bi-weekly. So, actually not bi-weekly. It's going to be a month. the 1st and the 15th. Yes. Our newsletter will come out, and it's going to have a lot of links to our blogs. So, our if you haven't subscribed <laughs> to the newsletter and you think you want to do that, then <laughs> we'll, down in the show notes, actually, you could pop one up here, too. You can do that? I don't know. She's going to try to put a link <laughs> up here, but also in the show notes. All right. 
So that's a lot of information. Um, <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> anyway, we, um, we had a tremendous weekend. The weekend before Christmas, we had a three-day date. It was amazing. And uh, this last Friday, we had a full date where we went up to southern Idaho and tried to get some raw milk and did, but didn't really care for it very yeah. much. We're not, well, we're assuming it's winter. What they're having to feed when they don't have pasture is probably not as good tasty <laughs> when it gets into the milk. So, so that's probably what's going anyway. on there. Hello. I'm Jim. <laughs> I'm Rinda. <laughs> we're hardiness approach. And we're sitting in a car and we actually are in Idaho right now. We drove up to get raw milk. We had a couple things we wanted to see, a few different places up here, and they sell raw milk in Idaho, so we took advantage and found a great place to pick some up. So, they have this great chicken coop area. We didn't get milk from the chicken. They have cows over here. Yeah, oh yeah, we did not get milk from the chickens. <laughs> and it's really muddy, so we're not standing outside. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's we got three gallons of milk, a quart of butter, a quart of cream, and uh, yogurt. yogurt uh, and, yeah, and and a quart of, of yogurt, and two containers of goat cheese that is cranberry almond. So excited! I would try to drive anywhere for I'm just missing raw yep. milk yep. I'm missing what raw milk does for your body I think I'm gonna go ahead and let you drive so she doesn't okay. think we're just weird sitting her in her driveway which her driveway is about a mile a mile long <laughs> and muddy <laughs> really muddy <laughs> so this farm they deliver all over well, they deliver from Boise to past Twin Falls, kind of oh, right along I-84. You guys are going to get dizzy. <laughs> I don't think I can do this while you're on here. But so. they have they have drop-off drop off points, and they're scheduled, and so you order ahead. They have a couple of day window where you can order, and then they drop off. We you. came out to the actual farm, and I think it's important that all the homesteaders out there realize that farms Working farms are not picturesque. This is a prairie with a modular home on it, and you saw the chicken coop, and there was another tiny little, or a little house that was like their store that they have everything in that they put stuff in, too. And otherwise, everything is um, like functional, you know. Here's a corral and a little lean-to for the animal, and here's this and here's that, and and you, you just do. <laughs> there, there, there's not a good route along <laughs> a, lot, a lot of this. It's, it's, there's some. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna have to show something else. They'll be dizzy. <laughs> okay, dry spot for a while. Okay. Anyway, um, we're thrilled. No, we're not coming here every week. Yeah, this is not no, every we're not week coming trip. here every month. Uh, we've decided to take a full date day and do this for our Friday date. And um, now we're headed down to Twin Falls to look at see some of the things there because we just really haven't been up here. And a lot of people do shopping and stuff like that here. In, a lot of people from Elko, from Elko where we are. From where we're at in Nevada. So we just haven't done it and it's a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna say goodbye for just a little while. Um, Bye. Take time, nourish your marriage if you are married. Nourish your friendships. Nourish your friendships. Nourish your family relationships. Um, so important and so amazing to be able to spend time together with doing fun, important things that bring you joy, everlasting joy. So we, I believe, are sharing on here uh, a picture of our pumpkin, no, our blue Hubbard, blue Hubbard, blue Hubbard squash. Jim, what you doing? Saving some seeds from our Hubbard squash. Let me see. Drying them off a bit right now. I'm going to let them dry out so I can get all of the stuff off and then let them be dry and wait for 
plenty time. So I know that you've seen a picture of a Hubbard squash before, but there is a lot. This is from one squash plus what I've got in the oven cooking. Do you understand how much squash and pie that could make? That's one squash. And um, we'll show how, how it's all cut up, but what I didn't show is what I did afterwards. So let me just tell you really quick. She's proud of this, but it was it was amazing. <laughs> so I this was our first exploration into Hubbard squash, and we were impressed. I baked yep. it, and covered it with olive oil, and then I scooped it out. No, no, no! I scooped it out. No, no, no! You cut it. I scooped it out. I did the easy part after I did it was some all scooping. You did? Yeah. I don't remember that part. <laughs> half of it. I scooped half of it. Okay. And I cut it up, which, as big as it was, and you as hard as You scooped the seeds out. I did scoop the seeds and out. And saved them. Saved the so, seeds. if you really, really want some of our Hubbard squash seeds, let us know, because we have an abundance. <laughs> we can't, we don't have that big of abundance to I give everybody. I can one or two. Well, here's what we can do. We can make them a, a like a, a prize. A, a, there you go. There we go. So, anyway. be looking in the future before gardening time we will share some seeds so i took after they were roasted scooped it out of the shell put it into a bowl and made it just like mashed potatoes so i put a cube of butter in this big 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 bowl and salt and pepper and then i just put it in a container and we ate it for christmas dinner with connie and tim and their family it was amazing incredible it, it, was, it was good it was so good so we ah you got to try blue hubbard squash because it's a really 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 good squash yeah anyway i've talked enough you have <laughs> hey thanks for watching we appreciate you coming along on the ride with us we love you all and until not this coming Monday. Yeah. This is yeah. this is this coming Monday. Yeah, this is the next coming Monday. The next Monday. Every Monday. <laughs> <laughs> the first Monday in January 2020. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gonna be a great year. Oh. We're not done yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember you wanted to tell them about not moving. Next time. Next time? Yeah, next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.